Rita Quintana coming to you from the Beehive. It's Minute Monday time again and today I'm going to show you how to make these note cards using the Stitch with Cheer stamp set and very minimal products. Now if you're like me you might be running a little bit behind on your Christmas cards so this Stitch with Cheer stamp set is perfect for making quick and easy cards. So let me show you how to make these cards. To start off with, you're going to need a pack of Whisper White note cards and envelopes. So let me just pop out a note card here. And I'm just going to put this down here on my grid paper. And we're going to start off with the Dapper Denim ink pad. Let me open that up. And we're going to use this great greeting here, which says, Peace and happiness to you and those you love. Perfect. I'm just going to stamp that right in the center of this card. I'm eyeballing this because there's other elements in this and it doesn't have to be perfect. Like that. Then I'm going to take my Marina Mist ink pad and I'm going to take the snowflake from the same stamp set. I'm going to stamp it twice. Once up at the top right here and once diagonally down here. Then I'm going to take my soft sky ink pad and there's this filler piece that fills in this middle part of the snowflake. So I'm going to ink that up and I'm just going to hover it over the center until it looks lined up and I'm going to stamp. I'm going to do the same for the top snowflake like that. Then I'm going to rotate it so the point faces up and I'm going to stamp it three more times. And Soft Sky is so light that it just kind of acts as a little tiny accent. It's not overwhelming. Like that. Then I'm going to fold this card along the score line. I'll take my bone folder to help smooth down that fold. And then we just need a little bit of bling for those snowflakes. So I'm going to take my rhinestone jewels and my paper piercing tool which just helps me lift them off. I'm going to add two to the center of these larger snowflakes. Like that. There we go. The first card is all done and it's just pretty and simple. Perfect. Now we're going to need another note card from our Whisper White note cards and envelopes pack. And this time I'm going to fold it along the score line right away. Grab my bone folder, which will help me smooth down that fold. Then what I'd like to do is make a pencil line for myself one inch up from the bottom. So I've got my grid paper here which will help me draw the line but if you don't just measure up one inch from the bottom and draw yourself a line on both sides. I'm just going to use the grid lines to help me line this up and just lightly draw it on there. We just want to be able to line up that stitching stamp. Then I'm going to bring in my Marina Mist ink pad and this stamp has the stitching that it kind of looks like knitting on a sweater. So I'm just going to ink this up and I'm going to have these little V's here come to the bottom and this stamp is pretty square on the photopolymer. So I'm just going to use the edge to line up on the ruler here. We're going to have to stamp this twice for each line. So I'm going to have it come off the edge just a little bit like that. And then we're going to have to stamp it once more over here. So the way I do that is I ink it up, I bring it over, I line it up with my edge and then I bring it close to my stitching and when I see that it's just touching then I can stamp that down. And most of the time you can get it pretty close so that you can't even see where the second stamp meets the first stamp. But don't worry if it's not perfect because this pattern is pretty forgiving. So then let me take the next one. I'm going to do two lines of this and I'm going to just put it just above the other one 
and again it's going to go off the edge of the cardstock a bit and then we're going to do the same thing we're going to uh, make sure first the bottom's lined up and then we're going to bring it towards the center a bit and when it looks good I'm going to stamp it so on this one there's a little bit more of a gap but it's barely noticeable now you're going to need your dapper denim ink pad open that up and this is the perfect greeting for the sweater stitching. It says, may your season be cozy. So let me ink that up. And I'm just going to put it just on top of the stitching to the left here, like that. And then we're going to need our real red ink pad and this teeny tiny heart. I'm just going to put that right next to the greeting like that. Then to finish it off I want a little bling for the heart so I'm going to bring in my rhinestone jewels again and this time I'm going to take my red sharpie and you don't have to color your rhinestones but I'm going to do it for this one. I just want it to look red so uh, sharpie stays on these rhinestone jewels really well. And then again I'm going to use my paper piercing tool to transfer it over to the little heart like that. And so you can see it's pretty easy to make these cards really quickly but they're still pretty and if you want to you can even stamp the little envelopes that go with them. Just put a snowflake or a little heart on the back and then you're good to go and you're ready to mail off some Christmas cards. All the supplies you'll need to make these quick note cards are available for purchase on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now! If you liked this tutorial, be sure to check out all the free with purchase tutorials available on my blog. The Home Sweet Home pop-up card tutorial is just one of the exclusive tutorials that you can choose free with a minimum purchase in my Stampin' Up! store.